before you dive into cryptocurrency, you should first learn about the history of cryptocurrency. It is critical to understand the context of emergence of bitcoins, mining, blockchain transactions, and so on. Understanding why it was created in the first place will help you understand how it works. Many attempts had been made prior to Bitcoin to create a digital currency. The concept was first introduced in 1998 by computer engineer Wade I in a paper in which he discussed the idea of a digital currency. Another attempt was made the same year by blockchain pioneer Nick Szabo. The main issue that most digital currency prototypes encountered was the issue of double spending. To put it simply, double spending is the digital equivalent of forgery. What if you could take a $100 bill, make 10 copies, and end up with $1,000? It rarely occurs because the traditional financial system, with its control and regulation entities, prevents it. The challenge now with digital currency is to ensure that a digital asset is only used once. Consider concert e-tickets. Even if the event you want to attend is sold out, you can still purchase a ticket from a ticket holder. But how do you ensure that the holder only sells their e-ticket once, given that PDF copies are easily duplicated? There are apps for this issue. In other words, we have to rely on a middleman. Similarly, most early attempts at creating digital money addressed this issue by ceding some control to a central authority. Satoshi Nakamoto created Bitcoin, the first successful decentralized digital currency, in 2008. In the midst of an economic downturn, he was able to solve the problem of double spending without jeopardizing the principle of decentralization. <laughs> 2008 was a pivotal year in the infamous 2007-2008 global financial crisis. And it's possible that the year Bitcoin was created was not a coincidence. However, no one will ever know for certain. In September, when US bank Lehman Brothers went bankrupt, the economy was on the verge of total collapse. At that time, a mysterious and pseudonymous Satoshi Nakamoto published a white paper titled Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. Four months later, on January 3, 2009, Satoshi Nakamoto created the first block of the Bitcoin network, known as the Genesis block. It heralds the birth of Bitcoin and the blockchain. Nakamoto hid a secret message within the raw data of this Genesis block, which stated, The Times 3rd Jan 2009, Chancellor on the verge of second bank bailout actually quoting a headline from the same day's edition of the Times about the British government's failure to respond to the financial crisis. Even if Nakamoto never commented, most people believe the Genesis block and its message are a statement. Satoshi expressed his disdain for central banks, claiming that, as the financial crisis had demonstrated, they did not deserve people's trust. Furthermore, he was convinced that a peer-to-peer -peer system would restore people's freedom, particularly against governments. Over time, the creation of Bitcoin resulted in the birth of the cryptocurrency market that we know today. New use cases arose, alternative cryptocurrencies were developed, and Bitcoin's popularity grew. To begin, platforms for buying and trading cryptocurrency, also known as exchanges, had to be developed. You could use these exchanges to convert fiat currency into cryptocurrencies and vice versa. The first Bitcoin purchase was made in February 2010 when programmer Laszlo Hanyic used it to buy pizza. While it may appear anecdotal, it has placed a price on Bitcoin for the first time, two pizzas for 10,000 BTC, which is equivalent to $20 at market value. Many other cryptocurrencies began to emerge two years after Bitcoin's creation. Some had new innovative rules in place to experiment with blockchain possibilities or improve Bitcoin features. However, few were successful because they provided little in terms of technological innovation. The Ethereum network was launched in 2015 and quickly became the second most popular cryptocurrency in terms of market share. The cryptocurrency market now contains over 6,000 digital currencies and is still growing. 
cryptocurrencies are gradually but steadily gaining traction around the world. The list of cryptocurrency use cases is rapidly growing, much like cryptocurrency prices. And this is just the start. Remember that four years ago, the price of Bitcoin was less than $1,000. Now it is more than $31,000. So let's be ready to ride the cryptocurrency wave.